Welcome back to your CompTIA IT Fundamentals training course. In this lesson, we'll discuss connecting and configuring peripherals. As we have seen in our previous lessons, there are a variety of peripheral connection types. We have worked with USB, which can be used to connect a keyboard or mouse, among many other devices. Also, a variety of graphic device ports can be used to connect to a display. All these connections are likely to be encountered on a desktop, laptop, or a docking station. Laptops typically are more limited in the number of connections available as compared to a desktop or some docking stations. Printers are often directly connected by USB, but can also be connected on the network. Printer devices require drivers to be installed before the device is fully usable. The process for installing a printer can be seen within our video. A wired USB keyboard is plug and play, meaning that once it is plugged in, it is typically ready for use. In some instances, keyboards may require a driver to enable additional features such as LED lights and macros. Typically, the driver can be installed from the vendor's website after connecting the keyboard. A wireless keyboard can be installed simply by plugging in the USB dongle into a working USB port on the computer. You will then install the batteries on the keyboard, and once the batteries are installed, the dongle is plugged in, you simply turn on the keyboard at which point the keyboard should be recognized. A keyboard that connects by Bluetooth can be installed by placing the batteries in the keyboard and turning the keyboard on, enabling Bluetooth on the computer and pairing the device. Once paired, the keyboard should be ready for use. Most mice, like keyboards, are plug and play. The steps for installing a specialty gaming mouse, wireless mouse, or Bluetooth mouse follow the same process as outlined in installing the respective keyboards. Webcams and digital cameras can be connected to a desktop or laptop computer. A webcam is used for live video, video recording, or picture taking. A digital camera can use the desktop or laptop computer as a storage for photo or video. Both types of cameras can be connected by USB. An external hard drive is a storage device which you can plug into the laptop or desktop computer by USB. Typically, the operating system will recognize the hard drive once it is plugged in. Computer speakers can connect to a PC in a variety of ways, depending on the computer. The most common connection is the analog 3.5mm mini jack array. The jacks are color-coded, with each serving a different function. There are also a variety of graphic display interfaces we have discussed. VGA, DVI, HDMI, and DisplayPort are the main ones. To connect a VGA cable to a display, one should power down the computer and display. It may be needed to attach the VGA cable to the display, but sometimes the cable is built in. Once connected to the display, you will align the connector of the cable with the VGA port on the computer, pushing it into place. Once in place, you can complete attaching the cable with the screws provided on the connector. To attach a display with a DVI connector, one can follow the same process as with VGA but utilizing the DVI port. Connecting HDMI and DisplayPort differs from VGA and DVI in that neither contain the side screws. However, the process is the same. One can simply push the connectors into their respective ports. Some peripherals use IP or internet protocol. Examples of IP-based peripherals include network printers, wireless access points, and IP security cameras. When setting up these devices, you will connect the device to the local area network and verify the connection. Once verified, the device should be able to be managed through the internet connection. Some devices, such as wireless routers, utilize web-based configuration. To configure the device, you will need to know the device IP address and login information. You would then use a web browser to navigate to the IP address of the device, enter the credentials, and begin configuration of the device. In our next lesson, we will start looking inside the computer and the components which make a computer function. I hope to see you all there and would like to thank you for watching. We are heroes too.